Imagine, your friend Alicia is pretty good in singing. In an inter-school music competition, she is very confident of winning. But when the results are declared, she does not win any award. In fact, she does not even get a special mention. As a friend, what will you tell Alicia? Will you say, Alicia, you deserve to win. It was the judges who were biased. Or will you tell her, it is just a music competition. It's not of great consequence. Or will you tell Alicia that, Alicia, you have the ability. You will surely win next time. Or will you be blunt and say, Alicia, you didn't really deserve to win. If you tell Alicia that judges were biased, you're advising her that whenever things don't go her way, she should place the blame on others. If you tell her that music does not really matter, you're telling her to devalue something if she doesn't do well in it straight away. Most people think that the third piece of advice, Alicia, you have the ability and you will surely win next time, is the best advice. However, according to Stanford psychologist Carol Dweck, that is the most dangerous advice you can give. Ability does not automatically generate success. According to Dweck, the last advice, Alicia, you didn't really deserve to win. However harsh it may sound, is the best advice you can give. Let's explore why. Dweck's work shows that people have two types of mindset about intelligence and ability. People with a fixed mindset believe that intelligence and talent are fixed traits and talent alone, without effort, creates success. They think intelligence is something that you either have or you don't. While people with a growth mindset believe that intelligence and talent can be developed through dedication and hard work. Brains and talents are just starting points and love of learning and resilience matters more. People with a growth mindset believe that much can be achieved through years of passion, toil and training. The key issue is how people with different mindset react to setbacks. For people with fixed mindset, setbacks are traumatic because setbacks destroy their self-belief that they were innately intelligent and talented. Since they believe these are not traits that can be learned with practice, after facing failure, they simply jump to the conclusion that they are not intelligent. On the other hand, people with growth mindset take failure in their stride because they believe performance can be improved through hard work. They challenge themselves and set stretch goals and hence increase their abilities even if they fail at first. Our mindsets are very important because they interpret our experience and form our perspective. This interpretation then guides our reactions. On facing a setback, do we remain cool and composed or do we become anxious, depressed and angry? Fixed mindset people have a very judging reaction when they fail at something. They interpret the setback as, I'm a loser, I'm worthless. Growth mindset people are attuned to implications for learning and constructive action. They ask themselves, what was the learning in a setback? And how can they improve future performance? Good news from Dweck is that mindset is not a genetic trait. You can take the following steps to change your mindset. Step 1. Learn to hear your fixed mindset voice. Self-doubt, fear of failure, fear of ridicule, and tendency to blame others. These reveal a fixed mindset. Step 2. Recognize you have a choice on how you can interpret challenges, setbacks, and criticisms. Step 3. Talk back to yourself with a growth mindset voice. Tell yourself, I will learn by putting in time and effort even if I fail at first. Step 4. Take the growth mindset action. Hard work with enthusiasm and deliberate practice. Growth mindset is another key disposition of an autonomous learner.